Hello everybody and welcome. So I got some good news and I got some bad news-ish. Good news is I got some information for our one of our new events coming up, the Tesla Trap. And bad news is I do not have any information about War Machine, but um, hopefully once I get some information about that, I can give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek preview of what that one is about before it actually is released. And we'll go from there once I get that. So I went ahead and got a little bit of information that I was allowed to have for the Tesla trap. And I also have <coughs> some assumptions as well of what it is and what we're going to be doing. Um, my assumptions are going to be based off of two other games, uh, PNS, Puzzles and Survival, along with my game, KOA, Kings of Avalon. But let's go ahead and go down the information that I do know, and we'll take it from there. So, latest report, we found monster crowds crawling under our bases. Let's lower them and wipe them out. Number one, officers and the leader may set up Tesla traps. Basically, what's going to happen is your alliance is going to get a brand new alliance building. And so, obviously, you know, only alliance leader and R4s can set that up. Once that happens, then it will start trapping, basically, a boss. With that boss, Alliance members may start up rallies together without a rally capacity limit. Now, that's cool. I like that. So, basically, what's going to happen is, say you have all five of your marchers. You can only initiate one. This is an assumption. You can only initiate one rally, but you can join four others. <clears throat> that's if you have the max queue of five uh Five marches. If you only have like a max queue of say two, you can only initiate one and join one. So it's going to be based off of that. Or if you don't want to initiate any, just join all five or join all two. You know, it's up to you. But um, that still stands. It's not going to be like, oh, everybody gets X amount of marches. No, that it's what you have is what you get. All right. Number three, if Alliance members kill the boss monsters successfully, all Alliance members can claim rewards. So, if, say, only three Alliance members participate, it's going to be kind of like um, Alliance Base Battle, where even though other people don't participate, <coughs> everybody still gets the rewards. Uh, number four, when the Tesla traps are expired, rewards will be issued according to damage dealt in the event. So, you will also have your personal rewards as well. If the boss monster is killed, monster crowds will come. Commanders may continue to attack for more point rewards. So, this is a time-based event as well. I'm assuming it's going to be 30 minutes because that's what it is in PNS. And KOA was somewhere between 15 and 30 minutes. I can't quite remember. 15 is stuck in my head for KOA. But we'll go from there. Um, within that time limit, if you beat the monster, then extra hordes will come in. Basically, extra credit, I guess in a sense, would be the best way to word it. And you can kill them, get some extra points. Obviously, uh, this is going to be one of those that the closer you are to this building, the more points you're going to get. The further you are, the less points you're likely going to get because uh, your march time does matter. There is no set time like uh, Alliance Base Battle where that's only 30 seconds no matter where you are. This one is just based off of your own march time itself. So do keep that in mind. Um, commanders with base level tw under 12 may not participate in the event. So make sure anybody level 13 or level 12 and up is good 
and everybody under that get them boosted up to level 12 so they can participate in the event and have some fun too all right this one is a very strict um which we call it event as far as <coughs> alliance members jumping and hopping alliances so you can't have i know uh there are places that have farm alliances you're not going to be able to bring your farms into your mains and your mains into your farms to be able to help out with this event at all or collect any kind of rewards you need to be inside the alliance for 70 72 hours prior to this event starting and then there is also a three-day cooldown as well so you need to make sure that that whole time within that first three days and then all during through the event and the uh, reward collection that you are in that alliance and this is to prevent you know the alliance hopping and whatnot and it seems that is quite the same because in pns it's the same way and in koa that is the same as well um like i said fit, uh 15 minutes to 30 minute event i'm not uh entirely sure that is an assumption march time does matter in pns if you would like to look up any extra information about this because i'm just doing a quick rundown i don't want to give out too many assumptions and then people turn around and you know, yell at me because I told them the wrong thing. I'm not trying to tell you the wrong thing. I'm just trying to tell you what I think it is. And these are the best sources that I know of. Um, from looking at what I was given and from what another member has mentioned to me, this is exactly like Speaker Trap in PNS. And like I said, this is like Portal as well, just without the extra bells and whistles. So Portal doesn't have the extra hordes, and but you still summon a monster. Every monster, every time you kill a monster, you go up another level and power a monster. So everybody's going to start at level one, and then each time you kill a monster, you're going to level up. If you do not kill the monster level say you're at level like i don't know nine and you don't kill level nine you will have to do level nine again on the next round and then once you beat it you can go back up to 10 but this is a pretty simple event if you got a lot of bigs a quick run and then from what it sounds like at least and then this is also going to be a great event because even for the smallers they're able to get some participation get some reward personal rewards for themselves get a little bit of them hit points and even though that they are smaller they can tag along with the bigger and get has some fun so make sure to have as many people on as possible for this um if not it's no big deal there will be plenty of other chances this is just going to be the very first one of very many to come um, and aside from that, that's about all that I know so far about this. There's many more other things, but like I said, I don't want to assume, say the wrong thing too much and then have it turn around on me. Uh, if you have any tips or tricks from playing, uh, any of these two, Speaker Trap or K uh, Portal and KOA, any tips or tricks and you would like to share them and help out, Please be sure to comment down below so other people can see and benefit from your knowledge. And any suggestions for future videos or any suggestions at all for anything, please let me know. You can comment down below, contact me uh, on our Discord. And other than that, that about does it today. Once I get information about War Machine, I'll be sure to share as well. Till next time, ta-ta!